If you're looking to sell or buy cheap CSGO skins, check out bitskins.com. Hello, welcome to Hatton Games. Today is the last day of the Major. It's day six, we're in the finals, and it's gonna be obviously Na'Vi versus Luminosity Gaming. I am gonna just talk briefly about the uh, games we had yesterday. Obviously, we had the last quarterfinal game between Luminosity and Virtus Pro. That was a good game to watch. Virtus Pro put up quite a good fight, but obviously Luminosity pulling through in the end and uh, securing their spot in the semis. Then we had Na'Vi versus Australis. That was an intense game. The first game on uh, Inferno, I felt like Australis could have taken it. They just choked and uh, they lost pretty much. They had a few key rounds that they should have really won and uh, secured that first map, but they didn't. And going into the second map on Dust 2, it was, um, it was they just weren't in the uh, right state of mind and the uh, Na'Vi they uh, ran away with it and secured victory. But the game of the day, if not like the best series in a long, long time, has to be Team Liquid and Luminosity Gaming. Liquid had the lead in both of the maps. Mirage was the first one and they were up 15 to, I think it was six. I'm not sure exactly what the score was, but they were ahead by a, a very large margin and Luminosity actually came back to actually draw, take its overtime and then win. And not only that, they did that twice. On cash it was the same thing, like I think overall um, Liquid threw maybe 15 match points that they were unable to um, secure. Absolutely insane game, some amazing clutches, I've, I've got a few highlights up on the channel, uh, the Cold Zero Orc play, the Hiko won the uh, you know, 1 versus 4 on cash, that was a really memorable moments there and Really good uh, series overall. Have to give it to Luminosity for actually being able to bring it back, the mental capacity to actually stay focused and not lose your fucking shit when you're down so much and to come back and win the, the actual series and go through to the finals. So big props to them. For Team Liquid, I feel really bad for them. They were just so, so close to making it to the grand final of a major. And how amazing would that have been for them and for everyone in the crowd, really? A North American team in the grand final. <laughs> like, it's, it's surreal. It's surreal. And um, that could have happened. It could have been a thing. They were so, so close, but they just couldn't close it out. Again, the choking issue, maybe under pressure, they just couldn't get that last round on both maps. And that could have been a 2 0, 2 0 for. Um, Liquid, but it wasn't to be. So that brings us up to the grand final, uh, and that's going to be 10 points for the correct pick on this one. Uh, Na'Vi and Luminosity. Obviously, I've already selected Na'Vi. I think they've got the um, edge going into this one. I feel like they've beaten a lot of higher tier teams coming through the whole bracket, and they've shown that, you know, they are the real deal. They were in the final for the last major at Cluj, and unfortunately, they actually lost that one to Envious. They're in the final again, and I think they're gonna take this one. So I'm going with Na'Vi for my prediction on here. I don't think I can actually get gold. So it's only 10 points for this pick. I've got 16 away from gold, so I'd be six out if it was the case. That being said, the all-star thing is here, and I'm not sure like what this is, and if you can get points for the all-star. There is no selection button, so I'm assuming you can't. I'm not sure why they put it there if that's the case. But, um, you know, that, that is a tease. Like, I'm wondering if I could get a cheeky uh, six points to uh, actually secure the gold if Na'Vi win. But I don't know. If you guys know, then do let me know in the comments. Moving on to my fantasy team, I've gone with uh, predominantly Na'Vi players, because I'm assuming they're going to win, and if, you, if you're on the winning side, you tend to get more kills. Uh, Commando is uh, Edward. Edward went absolutely ham yesterday. Hopefully he's going to put up some big numbers. Clutch King... FNX, FNX has always performed for me as the uh, the clutch, the clutch king, the clutch master, and he, he's always got those uh, bonus points for me. So I'm going to keep him as that. Eco Warrior is flamey. Um, nothing to really say there. I mean, he, he doesn't predominantly just use pistol, but he's just a good fragger, really. So he's obviously going to get some uh, points. Now instead of putting Guardian on the sniper roll, I've actually switched it up. I put him on the entry fragger. So it's sort of the same, he gets two points for every opening kill, and that's the same for the sniper, steals two points, there's no real difference um, if you switch them up. But my logic behind this is the fact that I'm thinking Na'Vi are gonna win, so entry fragging uh, is more likely for Guardian if they're, you know, if they're on form, if they're coming out and just smashing them. 
entry fragging is going to be key for Guardian. Obviously for the sniper roll I've gone with Fallen because you know who else are you going to pick? There's only one sniper really on the, the Luminosity side and I'm hoping he does well. So that is my fantasy team. I've already submitted this. Uh, my global ranking at the moment is 12% on the 2nd of April yesterday. I didn't do so well because uh, obviously I was banking on Astralis to do to actually defeat um, Na'Vi, and they didn't. So that's where I went wrong. My uh, leaderboard is getting ahead of me, and I'm not sure that I can make it back to the global rank of 2%. So I think we might need to be playing for silver, if that. We might actually fall into bronze, but silver is 15%, I'm on 12 Hopefully we can get silver at least, because, uh, you know, it's not looking good. But yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what your picks are for the final day of the MLG Major. I've had a ton of fun with this pick'em so far. It's been amazing, uh, just the whole event of the MLG. I think they've done it perfectly. Storylines are amazing. Upsets are amazing. The actual banter on the desk is amazing. Everything's amazing. So I uh, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video.